Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren Budgets and I'm finally doing my debt update video that I've been saying for like two months <laughs> that I was going to do. So the last time I did an update, I believe this was the last thing that I did. Um, so I had a plan. I was just over $50,000 in debt. I had $50,311 and 84 cents of debt um, left. And my plan was to pay off a thousand in September and fifteen hundred in October to my care credit, um, and then plus my minimum payment for both months, I would have paid it off. However, um, in my savings account, I had um, seventeen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars, and I figured, why not just take it from my savings account, pay off the care credit card, and then pay myself back for the savings. Since I already had a plan, I was like, you know, um, yeah, might as well just do that and get rid of the consumer debt. Because I don't know if you guys remember in my last debt update video, I was like, you know, happy that I was paying down debt, but also a little disappointed, like it was bittersweet because I was still over 50,000. So I went ahead and I paid off my care credit in one month which i believe was in august believe it or not it was like right after i had filmed this video so i paid off the two thousand six hundred and seventy three dollars and one cent on my care credit card so now i am consumer debt free and all i have are my student loans um so because my student loans are in that forbearance where it's like zero percent interest you don't really have to make a payment unless you unless you want to so i decided to hold off on paying on my student loans um they're not getting any interest i'm not you know paying someone for you know to have the, the balances sit there they're just remaining the same and rolling over every month for now and i decided to pay myself back for the savings, which should be by the end of the month, I should be back to where I was as long as everything goes okay. But I notice with me, whenever I make a plan, something always, you know, God laughs at you, I guess that's what they say. And something unexpected happens and it pushes back my plan. So I'm not, not going to say for sure by the end of the month, my savings will be back to where it needs to be. And I can start attacking debt again while also putting, you know, my normal amount back into savings every paycheck. Um, but that's what we're going for. Also, um, I would say like two or three weeks ago, I got a phone call about like trying to be served some papers. And I was like, what the hell is going I'm sorry, what the heck is going on? And come to find out it was a credit card from an old well, from one of my ex-boyfriends that I had when I was 18 years old, didn't know anything about credit. No one taught me anything. And I let him get a credit card under my name and he just charged it up and never paid. And it went to collections. Eventually it fell off because, you know, it's been well over 10 years. However, I guess whatever company ended up getting control of it, it hasn't been seven years for them. So they were gonna sue me for the balance and I just paid it off. It was like $1,500. So that also came out of my savings. Like I said, every time I make a plan, <laughs> it doesn't go the way that I want it to go. So, but even with that, I you know have been able to make my budget like so minimal that I was able to pay that, you know, I'm able to still by the end of October, get back to where I was with my savings as far as the amount goes, instead of before I had to pay that $1,500, I would have had more than what I originally had saved. So for me, that's still okay, two months to pay off like three, like $3,000. Actually, it's like 4,000 almost, um, 26 plus uh, 15. Yeah. So that's like four, that's like $4,000. So for me, two months, I'm a okay with that. At least now I know I'm I'm like 100% consumer debt free. Um, I knew that card was kind of lingering, but because it had fell off my credit report, I was like, ah, they're not gonna come after me. But I guess you know times are hard for everyone, so they did what they could do. So right now I am finally, finally, finally under fifty thousand dollars of debt, just student loans, um, forty seven thousand six hundred and thirty eight dollars and eighty three cents. And now like. I have no <laughs> disappointment in my voice. I'm like super excited that I'm making this progress. Um, 
you know, sometimes, you know, I've learned in this journey, I've been doing this way longer than I make, I've been making YouTube videos, of course. And I've noticed like, you know, sometimes things aren't going to go according to plan, but eventually you'll get there. So um, I'm super excited. Hopefully, you know, if everything goes the way I want it to go, not according to plan, we're not going to say a plan. Um, by November, I should be able to start attacking these like, you know, not huge payments because of course it's the holiday season i'm planning on purchasing a house in the next couple months hopefully by the end of the year if everything goes okay um, but definitely these balances should be able to go down a little bit before you know the i have to start making payments again in january if that's what happens who knows what's going to happen with the way the government is going is going um but yeah i just wanted to update you guys let you guys know that, that that's what's going on that's why you don't see rollover money on my um, cash envelope stuffings anymore. It's because that rollover month would have been rollover. It's now going to savings because I don't have any more consumer debt for that rollover to go to. So that's that. And then I guess once I start making payments again, I'll continue to do debt update videos again because obviously there won't be any more updates. I am not going to rack up on consumer debt anymore. If I use my card, I pay it off like that same week or by the time the payment is due so I don't get any interest or anything like that. Um, definitely moving much smarter with my finances. Um, and then obviously being on YouTube and making my videos, you guys help hold me accountable. So I super, super, super appreciate you guys for that. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully everyone is making such great progress on their debt journey as I am and they're you know even the little small the small wins are wins that you should celebrate so thank you guys and you have such a great day bye